Saturday? Uh, yes, it's Saturday. Saturday, and I am so glad we took a zero day. It's been raining pretty much almost all the day. And if we had gone up and hiked like we did yesterday, it would have been a lot of slick rocks in this rain. Tomorrow's not supposed to be rain. No, I'm pretty happy being in a hotel. We're just hanging out, waiting for our lift driver to take us back to the trail. Yeah, it's what, Sunday? Sunday. Mm -hmm. I think it's May 21st. The rain's let up and we're going to walk uh, six miles to a grocery store in a deli and then we're going to go assess whether we want to go one mile or eight miles or so. But the weather's nice. Yeah. Yeah, and since the zoo is closed this morning, we are going to be following the trail this way, the Blue Blaze. Yeah, we've already done it. <laughs> It's a steep up on this hill, windy and yet humid after the rain yesterday. Much steeper than it looks. This is about level. We're told that Anthony's nose is a view well worth doing, not to be missed. Here comes Jane. We're not going to do it though. Six tenths of a mile off trail means 1.2 miles round trip. And unfortunately, a lot of this trip is around husbanding your resources and energy, especially for us who hang on by our toenails on this trail. This one area where we were talking earlier, people often say, oh, Young people just race through the trail and they don't get to see anything and aren't appreciating it. Old folks, they take the time. I actually call bull on that one. I think the young folks can see more because they're fast. They have more reserves. They can take the time to go back to Anthony's nose if they choose to. Probably sit for a bit and they'd be long past us in no time. Well, we have to reserve everything we can just so that we can get to the next campsite and so anything that's too far off trail might as well not exist 
Oh well. Still, we're moving. section has been going on with quite a bit of the smoothest trail which is nice this is probably the closest to enjoying hiking that I've had since maybe the Lehigh Gap Palmerton area before and after I had good views fun climb out of Lehigh Gap um, this one's been fairly level moderately rock free oops as I trip on one winds blowing sun's out humid but cool, almost enjoyable. Oh, this is nice. Oh look, a deli, and it's lunchtime. How convenient. We just left the deli, and it was delicious. Got a long sub each. Was that a long foot long? And uh, so we ate half. We're gonna save the other half for when we get to camp. And yeah, it's. It's overcast and, and a little cool, but it's not raining and it's not supposed to rain. And I think it's just a perfect afternoon for hiking. We have about 8.8 8 .8 miles, yeah, about eight miles to um, the tent site that we're going to. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty much no views. And um, just hiking in the woods today. But if we come across some views, we'll be sure to take some video. Anything else you want to add? No, no we uh, had lunch with Frodo, or um, don't know what the girl's name was. Two more hikers showed up, but we didn't get introduced. Or, we were on, uh, our we were on our way out. <laughs> but yeah, I haven't seen too many hikers today, but that'll probably change by the time we get to camp. Yeah, these guys are all ones that started down in Georgia. Yeah, so they're super, fast. Yeah, fast ones. Yeah, super fast. <laughs> all right, let's get to hacking. We're near the uh, monastery. They allow hikers to stay on their in their baseball field or something like that. But we're too early, and this was going to be a destination for us. But we still got so many hours left of daylight. We thought we'll go ahead and just move on to the next campsite. But it looks like they've got an entrance way up there. All right, we'll find the trail. Yep, looks like a controlled burn. What's on the other side? Uh, trail actually has been pretty easy today for most of it. But now, now we're at home, going uphill through rocks. <laughs> Just makes you appreciate the easy parts. This is an inoculation station. Here 
there's our campground for tonight. Trail is right down that way.